Today I'm unboxing the Christmas Crystal Mystery Box by Treasure. If you've been watching my Crystal Advent event, you'll know that her advent calendar is included in that. I have bought so many mystery boxes from her and she's actually got her own playlist. I think I've still got about three or four videos to edit and post. However, because this is a Christmas one, I'm assuming there's going to be at least one Christmas themed crystal in here. So I'm just going to be posting this ahead of the rest of them. When I fill in my crystal mystery box unboxings, I put them into a folder and just edit them when I've got time. So I don't always post them in order. So in some of my videos, I'll hold up a crystal and I'll know exactly what it is. And then maybe I'll post one a few days later and I'll hold up a crystal and I won't know what it is. Just because it's not in order. Normally when I receive these boxes, I open them straight away because I've got no self-control whatsoever. And I really wanted to open this one with my friend Demi, but I don't know when we're both going to be available at the same time. So today I got my new Christmas bed covers. Check these out. Amazing. I've got on my Christmas socks. I've got on my Christmas nightdress. I've been watching Christmas films all day. And I thought, Do you know what? Now's the time. So, while I'm holding up these crystals, I'm going to see if I can guess what they are and you can guess how much you think I paid for this box, which I will be telling you at the end. So, it's finally time to open my Christmas crystal mystery box. <coughs> this is what the inside of the box looks like. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm noticing the shape of a little animal at the top of that box which just so happens to be my favourite animal, so I think I'm going to leave that one till last because I'm too excited to open it right now. I've got my scissors ready. Here we go. The first package has got, she's put the number on the outside, so I'm going to have to put the crystal back in because she'll give me a description card with numbers on it so that I can identify them at the end. Right, so this, I don't know what this is, right? This is how it's wrapped and it looks a wee bit like some sort of broccoli cauliflower situation. This looks very intriguing. This looks very intriguing. <laughs> the more I'm taking this stuff off, the more I'm thinking, this looks intriguing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is intriguing. It's a plant pot and it's got like, it's got little grass in the bottom of it and everything and then it's got clear quartz and pyrite. That pyrite is super sparkly. How interesting. I've never seen anything like this in my life and the only thing that I've ever seen that's even close to this is another thing that she sent me in my crystal advent calendar, which was a shell with crystals coming out yet. But that is really lovely. This time I'll go for a smaller package. This time I've gone for a smaller package. And I can already tell that this is going to be full of shapes, animals and all my favourite things. Because she just knows what I love. So in here... We have what I was literally just talking about that I got in my advent calendar. It's not the same, but this is a shell. You wouldn't believe that I actually turned my light down before I started recording, but you still can't see. It's a shell with crystals in it. And I got one of these in my advent calendar, but all the crystals in it were all different. So now it's got a little friend. Now this might not be everybody's taste, but it's so unusual, like I really love it. Next I'm taking out this tiny package and it says three in one, right? I'm holding this up and I can see something in it that's just like, I'm about to flip. I'm about to literally lose control here with the cuteness. Now, you know, I love a shape, I love an animal. I say it every time, but what I'm seeing in this package, can I even contain myself? I don't think so. So the first little thing we've got in here is a teeny little frog. 
and I wasn't going to do a TikTok of this unboxing but this is so small that I'm I'm going to do one and then if you want to have a closer look at this you can go into TikTok to see what it looks like but it's a tiny little blue cat's eye froggy. Next we have this sweetie, this fluorite sweet. I got one of these in my advent calendar as well and it's quite cool when you get like matching crystals because then if you've got a friend that likes them which I've got a few friends that like crystals like I can have one and they can have one friend crystals now this last thing it's too good it's actually it's actually too good I'm such a child right look at this oh my god look at this I can't cope It's a tiny, it's a tiny little duck. It's got a wee face. It's got eyes. It's got a wee beak. <sighs> I could cry. This is so cute that I could literally cry right now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it's made out of, right? But it's, the cuteness is. I'm overwhelmed. I'm just digging it deep, deep down into the bottom and we have this which looks like agate this interesting this is actually quite solid I think this might be agate um, it looks like a coaster like the edges that are really smooth and everything I wonder if you could actually use that as a coaster the colours are not my taste but overall it's nice now I've just grabbed this next package which is a very strange looking shape so this should be interesting well this is nothing that I've ever seen before and it's agate but it's a butterfly when I was first opening it up I thought it was a hair clip do you see those little prongs there but I don't know what it's for I'm sure it's got some sort of use I don't know maybe it's like a paper clip or something but it's a butterfly and considering I don't really like agate that much usually Look at the colours in there, you can't really see it in this light but it's like clear and then there's greens and blues, it's stunning. I know that these agates are dyed right but I mean in my opinion it has to be dyed for it to be attractive. But what do you think? Really lovely. Next we have a little sickle. interesting this is a circle with a tree of life on it and in the middle of the tree of life there's a skull I don't know what this is made out of I think it might be cat's eye but it's not really got the light shift on it so I don't know but Demi would love this and actually I say this in most of my videos now but I'm learning how to wire wrap and once I get good at it I think that that would make a really nice pendant. I'm into like, bigger pieces, you know smaller jewellery does nothing for me whatsoever so I would definitely wear this as a pendant. Next we have this, this looks as if it's got sweeties inside it, no idea what it could be. This is a resin owl. With chips inside it and it's kind of rough around here because it looks like feathers but when you look at the bottom of it it's like totally crystal clear and you can see all the different little chips in there what do you think of that now i will say the only bit of this that i don't like really is the eyes 
because there's a shape for like where the eyeball should be but it doesn't have any however <laughs> a while ago I went and bought googly eyes and these eyes are like cat's eye ones that I'm just going to stick in this because I think it'll look really cool and I think I'll put the yellow ones in it but overall I like it, it's quite different what do you think? So next I have a box with a few things in it. This will be interesting. Hopefully it's not too fragile. I've just been shaking the life out of it. So this is the box and inside. Ooh. I've seen this on her Instagram. This is one of her little chakra sets. So let me see. There's some wee mini tumble stones in the top and then in the bottom there's a packet of mini points. Seven in there. Yeah, I remember seeing this. This was our chakra set, so such a nice gift to give somebody as well. If somebody is just starting collecting crystals or you just want to give them a nice gesture this would be it but I'll probably be keeping this for myself because it's cute no Christmas themed crystals yet but we've still got four left to open it after this one so let's see so this is a clear quartz point with something on top snail <laughs> It's a snail. It's a bloody well clear quartz point with a snail on it. Wow. Just when you thought crystals couldn't get even more interesting, somebody has thought, oh, I know what I could do with this. I think I'll just stick a snail on it and just totally win me over. Now, I'm not a massive fan of clear quartz because... It's kind of boring. But look at that. Somebody's just put a snail on there. And now it's blown my mind. Can you see the detail in its little shell? Wow. I love it. I'm going to go for the smallest package left, which is this cabochon. And I'm sure she sent me this because she knows that I'm practicing my wire wrapping now. And this is the perfect size to me. This is a perfect size for a pendant. I've got no idea what this stone is. No idea at all. You can let me know in the comments if you know what this one is. But to me, this pendant, 100% perfection. I mean, I could wrap that and make it look really nice. I do need a little bit more practice right enough. So we've got four packages left and I'm going to take this box see what this is. I don't know what this is but it's very intriguing. This is what it looks like in the box. I don't know if it's going to be a wand, a pen, a magnifying glass, like I don't know. Right let's see. Oh, It's a magnifying glass. And it's got amethyst on the handle and then some malachite here and then I'm not sure what this is. It's like little red pieces. I don't know if it's garnet. And then, yeah, I think that might be garnet. What do you think of that? That is very interesting indeed. Do you love it? Or do you hate it? So now we've got two packages left and I can see what one is which is why I'm leaving it till the end because I'm still too excited to actually open it up and see it. And I can see while I'm opening this that it's, it's kyanite but it's also something made out of kyanite so we'll see what that is. And it is another... Oh, interesting! It's a plant. It's a plant pot. 
with kyanite and amethyst inside it. Hmm, that turns. I think that this, like that's a little pot, I think this might have been a salt and pepper shaker and it's been turned into like a little plant pot type situation. Yes, yes, I like it. So I've got two packages left and this is the second last one, the penultimate. I can already see that it's some sort of aura crystal. We know I love an aura coating. This is magical. This is magical. This is magical. Look at that. Now but it's not Christmas themed right but that looks like a Christmas tree. What is the crystal? I think it might be selenite. Aura coated selenite. Wow. I've got an aura coated selenite egg in my cupboard over there. And this isn't going into a giveaway, it's, it's blown my mind to such a degree that I can't even contain my excitement right now. But that is absolutely stunning. I just, this is my type of thing. I know a lot of people like natural crystals and agates and you know, like nature, but that is amazing. So now, we're on the final, final, final crystal. I'm going to hold it up in the packaging. You can already see what it is. But this is a moment. And it is a piggy. Pigs are my favourite, 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 favourite of the animals. Look at its wee face. Look at its wee body. It's got a wee tail. It's got everything, everything going for it. I love it. I love its wee face. What's it made out of? Is the question. I'm thinking sunstone. What do you think of that? It's beautiful. So in the bottom of the box there's also a description card. So let me just quickly go through and see if there's anything that I got wrong or anything that I didn't identify. So I was just reading through the description card there and this is septarian which I'm pretty sure I don't have any of this. I did want to order some and I was looking at it in Sphere Forum and it looked completely different for this. Normally this isn't my type of crystal but I actually really like this and I'll be turning this into a pendant and keeping it for myself. Also in the description it says that obviously this sweet is fluorite and the two little animals are cat size. Now I'm sorry. I realise that it's the smallest thing in the box, right? But this is one of my favourite things that I got in the full box. Also, this pig isn't sunstone, it's peach moonstone. And I have made this mistake several times. Like, I seem to get them mixed up quite a lot. It's a peach moonstone piggy. Look at his little face. I love it. So on this one, it just says agate. It doesn't say if it's a paper clip or whatever, so I think it must just be a butterfly ornament. But it is, it is beautiful. And I will say is mixed chips. I'm definitely going to be keeping this, but I'm going to give it googly eyes because I think that'll be really cool. <laughs> and the blue one is also cat's eye, which is very nice. So now it's time for you to guess how much I paid for this box. Normally when I buy a box at this price from Treasure, I get more in it. And she had messaged me to say that, but I think that this is still really good for the price. Because there's so many shapes and unusual things in it that you don't normally get. I mean, you've seen the advent calendars. One of them cost the same as this box and it was like... Questionable at best. So this box cost £100. And I really think that there's so much variety in this and things that are different. My top three things in this box, 
Number one is the piggy. Number two is the ducky. And number three is this masterpiece. This absolute masterpiece selenite aura. Love it. Let me know in the comments what your top three crystals were. And just so that you can have a closer look, I am actually going to do a TikTok video. Just so that you can see the little duck and its little face and the little pig. <laughs> I know I've got problems, okay? Leave me alone, it's Christmas. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this seller has her own playlist in this channel and I've got many more videos to post of her boxes. However, I'm just putting this one ahead because I thought that there might be some Christmas crystals in here. There wasn't. But I'm still going to put it ahead nonetheless. If you really loved any of these crystals, you can have a chance to win one in your very own crystal mystery box. At the moment, I've got a giveaway going on in TikTok and I've also got one going on in my advent event. If you win a mystery box, you could get one of these crystals inside that, so good luck. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you would like to order a box from Treasure, her shop will be listed in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye!